All right, I got a bone to pick with YouTube, so I want you to watch this. We are now stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. And there goes our boat. We are now stranded for seven days. How much longer? Seven days. Frick. And now I want you to watch this. I don't know about you, but I've been an avid YouTube viewer since the KC Neistat daily vlogs, the BF vs GF Vitaly prank era, the rise of Face Clan vs Optic, and even Captain Sparkle's Minecraft parody incursion. And the feeling of watching those videos compared to those of Mr. Beast, Arak, Preston, and the many other Mr. Beastified YouTubers just feels different. Not to say it's a bad thing because clearly they are doing something right, but I can't be the only one who feels this way. So first off, how did we get here? Well, in the early ages of YouTube, there used to be this raw, imperfect, almost hole in the wall feeling that caused the platform to initially feel different than traditional TV. There was no such thing as being an influencer, brand deals, or even a creator fund. Granted, there was Google AdSense that just wasn't nearly as glorified as it is now. This allowed people to start creating purely with the intentions of just creating something cool, being authentic, having fun with YouTube, and not just trying to hack the algorithm and max maximizing your AdSense dollars. And the best word I can describe this era of YouTube is pure. There was no correct way of creating and it was purely with the intentions of just creating and having fun making videos. But once people started to catch on that YouTubers can make some serious cash, uh, I think it's only been downhill from there. Now fast forward to the past couple years, it almost feels like YouTube is becoming more and more like traditional TV, where every single cut has to be 110% necessary, the pace must be lightning speed, the screen must always be moving and entertaining to the point where you barely remember what you just watched because you were so zoned in visually, audibly, and emotionally. In the YouTube community, this is oftentimes called the Mr. Beastification of YouTube. And don't get me wrong, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, although Casey Neistat uh, thinks otherwise. It's what I hate about YouTube. I call this like the the Mr. Beastification of YouTube. Mr. Beast is the most popular YouTuber for a reason. He figured out how to make the absolute most algorithmically best videos possible in order to keep you as engaged and entertained as possible. And in no way, shape, or form is this a bad thing. YouTube was designed for creators to entertain viewers. And if the creators can learn tactics to, you know, keep you entertained and on the YouTube platform, and obviously YouTube wants to reward that because it means that the creators are keeping people on their platform. And at the end of the day, YouTube is a business. They need to make money to stay alive, and I just feel like this has gotten way out of hand. Until today. It's 2024. TikTok has absolutely ruined all of our attention spans to the point we can barely sit in silence for longer than five minutes. And I feel like enough people are starting to realize this to the point that YouTube is starting to reward creators who bring back that cozy, warm vibe YouTube used to be. Creators like Colt Kerwin and The Life of RZA are the two best examples of this and it just so happens they're dating. These two bring out that old YouTube vibe where quite literally they're creating for people, not an algorithm. Why Watch this. month. She literally didn't say a word for the first 31 seconds and you're lying to yourself if you say that wasn't at least entertaining and peaceful to watch. And now watch this. This is a really small house. Less is more. Less is more. I once heard somebody smart say less is more. It was me two seconds ago and I want to find out if that's true. So I sent my friends to one of the biggest hotel rooms in the world. They're going to be seeing if more is more in tomorrow's video. Yes, this is extremely entertaining to watch, but it's just too much. It's like too edited and I can almost feel the algorithm retention optimization just screaming at me, which wholeheartedly feels fake. And this isn't throwing any shade towards the Mr. Beastified YouTubers. I 
just feel like people are growing out of this and missing the old, authentic, raw, just fun video viewing platform YouTube used to be. At the end of the day, the world swings in pendulums. We all desire change, but don't realize it until that desire has changed so much so that we want it to go back to how it used to be. And I think this is exactly what's happening with YouTube. The creators, just as much as the viewers, got tired of the same old YouTube to the point we wanted more entertaining videos similar to those of Mr. Beast and not saying nobody wants his videos because he's quite literally breaking records with every upload. I just feel like we're swinging back into the good old days. And honestly, creating this video brings me so much peace knowing that I don't have to create the Mr. Beastified videos just to make a stance on this platform. I can continue staying true to myself and having fun when I press record and I do believe that once my audience finds me, they will enjoy me for me. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, I bet you would find it interesting to see how last year on YouTube treated me so you can click that here and don't forget to subscribe.